Yo, it's Kevin and welcome to the first video on the channel. In this video we'll be covering the most cheeky jump spots on the map customs. The aim of these spots will be to give you a big line of sight and hopefully spot your enemies before they spot you. Now to make the most out of these spots you will want to have the smallest silhouette as possible. I say this because having a backpack equipped will make you a much larger target and much easier to spot. So that means either leave your backpack at home or drop it before you go up. It also means if you want to increase your chances of survival is to cut down on your Alionka eating habits. That includes you, Private Tony. <coughs> As always, uh, links for the images used will be in the description box. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into it. We'll start our quest on the west side of the map at the storage units, which are located here. And it's a pretty juicy place because you can use the cars to get on top of the roof. And once you're up there, you can uh, basically have an entire 360 view of the entire compound. Now this car can also be used to get on top of the roof but I wouldn't suggest using it because it's a lot more difficult as you can see than uh, the other cars that are uh, located in the center of the, of the area and yeah I, w I wouldn't bother with this one and uh, stick to the easy ones. Next up this one is at the entrance of the compound and it's pretty easy once you know it. You just open the door and jump up on the railing and then from the railing onto the door and finally on top of the roof. <coughs> Coming down, this one's really simple but I feel a lot of people still miss this. And uh, it can be a quick way to get into the red warehouse. And there's a bunch of different jumps on this uh, side of the map, so that's why we picked the west to start with. And uh, from here we can already see the two train cards that uh, we can get on top of, and I will show you that in uh, just a minute. Because first I'd like to show you more of a gameplay uh, scenario. Which is right here. Now, say you're approaching from this angle, right? You're looking to get into the extraction over there. You're coming through this way and there, you know there's people in the parking so what most people would do is go through the gate here but well, that's something i wouldn't uh, advise because from here it's really easy to die especially when they know you're coming so instead of going through the gate you can actually do a little bunny hop over here and another one over there and gun down everything that's living and once you're done with that you can jump down and hopefully live another day. Now this jump goes both ways as you can see. So if you're coming from uh, the parking lot area you can also use this to exit. Now making our way back to the train. You can actually get on top of this one. I'm not sure why I'm trying to uh, jump up uh, on this one from the front, but it's much easier to use the backside. That's what she said. Congratulations, you're now officially king of the train. And as you can see, the sidelines on this one are beautiful. You can actually peek into the construction area from here. Okay, so you made your way back down successfully. There's the other train that you can uh, jump on top of. This one's a little bit more easy to, uh, to access, but it's a little less desirable because from here, in my opinion, the sidelines aren't as great as the first one. And there's also the 
AI scavs that like to push in the red warehouse area from the back. So you're a little bit more exposed. Now from the train, it's only a little walk uh, up north, uh, just before the bridge, there's a house and you can also access that roof. It's very simple and it's very good. Just keep in mind, as long as you're not Michael Jordan, jump up from the edge of the first platform to give yourself enough elevation, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Now, as you can see, you have coverage over both the land bridges and the road bridge. You can see into the construction area and you can see across the river. So this is a very desirable place and a very tactical position to find yourself in. Up next, we're crossing the river and let's head straight to the bus stop. Now this isn't even a jump, but that doesn't mean it's not as good as the others. Even my granny can do this, and she don't even have legs. Just a heads up, don't spend too much time in this area, because I've spent a couple of days here now, and I can't remember seeing one bus. Anyway, let's make our way down to the construction area for the next one. This one is a pretty nice defensive position to hold in my opinion because if you come in here there will be scavs, you'll be uh, shooting, you'll be making noise and usually people are attracted to noise so when uh, the players are coming pushing in you'll want to uh, make sure you defend yourself. So this one you might have to practice a little bit as you can see I didn't practice enough. What you want to do is uh, line up this piece of concrete, shoot once for luck and off you go. What you want to do is run, take two steps and then jump. So when you made it up here, congrats, you just won the game. Nah, just kidding. But this is a lot better position to be in than the uh, platform in the construction area because that's where people will suspect you to be. So that's where they will be looking for you and you'll be here instead. So they won't be looking at you, which means you can shoot them and then they die. So for the next one, it's actually really close. Um, you will be needing a key for this one and that key is the portable cabin key, which you can find in scav backpacks or scav pockets. Uh, it's a little bit of RNG there, but it's not too bad when you uh, buy it off the flea market because it's only used for a beginner quest and people generally don't have any use for it after that. So do yourself a favor, pick up that key and get on top of the best spot in the entire map. So procedure for this one, it's the same as the one in the storage area. You open the door, this time with the key of course, then you jump up on the railing and from the railing onto the door and from the door to the roof. So when you made it up here, congrats, this is the best spot on the map in my opinion. And as you can see from here, you can see the new gas station, you can see the construction area, you can see the sniper's calf, if he hasn't seen you already. You can see the dorm area, the three story dorms, which is of course a really high traffic area. And so when you see those doors opening, it's time to paint the walls red. So up next we're gonna take another look at this here map. This time we'll make our way into the shipping area. So this is a little cheeky spot. If you know there's a scav boss at the new gas station or there's players there or there's whatever going on there. You can just hop on uh, this container and uh, take a look. So I'm just putting this in here in case less experienced players watch this because I'm pretty sure most of you will know this by now. 
Um, you can actually use the cars to get on uh, top of the parties and then leave this area if you don't have the factory key yet, which opens the shortcut towards my right. And if you don't skip lag day as often, you can actually make this jump in one go. Up next for paying a visit to the new gas station. There's actually two jumps here that I want to show you. One's a little bit more meme and the other is a little bit more useful in most situations. And um, yeah, the first one, the meme one is on the inside. So this is a little bit of a Mimi jump and um, it's not as useful but in some situations it can, it, it can be if you're getting chased down and you don't know where to go, well you can always go here and uh, say hello to the ceiling. And you can actually walk around this entire U shape on the shelves. Exiting the gas station on the back side you will run into a pile of tires. Use them to jump up and then from there jump a little bit into the barbed wire. Otherwise you won't make the jump, trust me, I've tried. So from here this is a really nice bang for your buck jump in my opinion. It's easy to pull off, it gives a lot of possibilities. You can look down the road in both directions. Uh, people will eventually have to pass through this area regardless. Um, from this direction you can look down uh, to the shortcut area which people again will pass through. And uh, you're covered by the barbed wire, which is a really nice pro. Now this barbed wire is really uh, a blessing because it generally blocks you entirely from enemy vision. The only downside of this spot is the new expansion area. Uh, people usually like to sit up there and snipe down. So be careful of that before jumping up here and you'll be good to go. So for the final two jump spots we'll be moving to the old gas station area. As you're approaching you'll see the white fan towards the back of the area. When you jump up on it it's easy to jump on, uh, on top of the tanker from there. Now from here I've tried to get on top of the roof but I wasn't successful in doing it. So maybe that's to do with my character level, uh, my strength level which is only level 5. And of course strength increases your jumping uh, distance. So I'd love to hear if you maybe have a higher strength character, if you can make this jump, because that would be awesome. So for the final clip of this video, it's a little bit more of a bonus clip. We make our way back to the train, which we pass through in order to get to the old gas station area. Now I was able to get on top of the first level of this train. And um, I was try, uh, trying to get on top of the roof of, of it, of course, but I failed and uh, I fell off and I wasn't able to get back on it, so I kind of gave up. But as a proof of concept, I suppose it's, it is possible to get on top of the first level and on the railing. But from there on top of the roof, I don't know, maybe it's possible, maybe it's not, but it would be great if uh, somebody is watching this who has a higher strength level than me who can maybe elaborate on this, maybe explore it a little bit more and uh, let me know if you find anything new. So that's been it, the best customs jumps that I know of. Thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, please feel free to leave a like, a subscribe, a comment, tell me my eyes are beautiful or something so I can feel better about myself. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out. See you on the other side. Kevin signing off.